G'day everyone, how's home learning going? I'm sure you're going okay and you're trying really hard. Mr. Lebasic has dobbed me in for reading one of my favorite books and this really is one of my favorite books. I have read it to little kids and big kids and it's a book that I read at least, at least once a year to different kids in our school. So I'm gonna share with you the short and incredibly happy life of Riley. It's one of my favorites for a few reasons. It's really cool pictures and it makes you think about some of the things that's going on in there. And it's also about human beings and how we're very different and very silly sometimes. So it's one of my favorite books. So this is it. The short and incredibly happy life of Riley. Everyone wants to live forever. They want to be happy and they want to be healthy. Some of these things are actually quite difficult, but some of them are really easy, which might seem surprising because most people hardly manage any of them, at least not all of the time. None of this bothered Riley. Now, this book is about Riley, who's a very happy mouse. <clears throat> Riley had been born happy. His eldest memories were being with his brothers and his sisters and his mum in a big bed with plenty of food and no rain. He was always happy, even when he was asleep. And if you have a look at, there's a picture there with something that he's dreaming about, which is really something that he probably loves. He was beautiful and everyone loved him. He was the best and so were his brothers and sisters and his mum. All Riley wanted was some fruit and maybe a couple of slugs on Tuesdays or Friday or now and then. People, of course, they want so much more than that, which is a shame because all you really need, apart from a cup of tea and some toast, but not a slug. People, on the other hand, they want double fudge chocolate caviar sausage Gourmet, baby size, jumbo cow, sheep, chicken, extra whipped cream with MSG sauce burgers. Some of which is gross. Some cruel. There's a cat. And very, very, very unhealthy. All Riley wanted was a stick. With the pointy end to scratch the bit in his back where he couldn't reach himself. People, of course, they want much more than that. They want microwave, video, DVD, SMS, TV, big car, I, mine costs more than yours, gold, diamond, electronic, gigabyte, fastest, biggest, and smallest machines. And people, of course, should never be allowed to have sticks with pointy ends because they end up sticking them into each other. Riley looked in the mirror, and he didn't think anything. There he was, not too big, not too small, just himself, Riley. But people, of course, they look in the mirror and they get very depressed. And there's some funny pictures in this book. They want to be taller, shorter, thinner, here, much bigger than you, curly hair, straight, young, older, less spotty, with a big moustache, woohoo, smooth, golden skin, suntan, gorgeous, irresistible, not bald, and a famous inner painting. The only place Riley ever wanted to be was here, which is where he always was in his shoe, nice and warm. People, of course, want so much more. They want to go to the seaside ski resort, paradise, dream world, cast away, exclusive, you must be rich to go there if you can afford to come, plaza, luxury, getaway, I want to go anywhere, theme park. Riley, Riley fell in love with the first girl he met. He thought she was perfect. The most beautiful girl he had ever seen. They had lots of lots 
Uh, they had lots and lots of perfect children and they all lived happily ever after, except for Kevin, who got hit by a bus. But he was still happy because he never saw it coming. People fall in love all over the place. They fall in love with themselves and any other people they can. They want to spend the rest of their lives for at least the next month with the most beautiful, funniest, curviest, clever, not as clever as me though, exciting, wonderful, what did I ever see in him, her, married, my wife, husband, partner, dog. They don't understand me. Do you come here very often or anyone ever in the world? It's a bit hard to read this book sometimes. And none of these silly things about life is, is quite strange because whoever spent so much of the time not eating what they really want in places that they don't really want to be with people they don't really like usually live forever. Whereas Riley, who spends all of his time eating his favourite food in his favourite place with his favourite friends, only lives for a very short time. That's why it's never a very good idea for people to compare their lives to animals. You'll only get very depressed. Because realising that a rat has a better life than you do is really, really sad. And really the answer is quite simple. You just have to release your inner Riley. There you go. That is The Incredibly Happy Life of Riley. I really hope you like this book. It's one of my absolute favourites. Keep up home learning.